ladies. Stacy's probably going to be looking to execute a little bit of Muay Thai here. I can already hear a corner yelling instructions for her to be dropping elbows on Dadia, the Russian empress. And I'll tell you what, Dadia's stare is ice cold. All those Russians are like that. Good love touch, and here we go. Dadia takes the center, inside leg kick, one, two. Stacy does seem to be the more powerful of the two with the leg kicks, but Dadia's landing the punches. Very accurate punches. Steve Mays has these people striking down at Lozon MMA. He's got them accurate. The boxing's a good. Nice left hand by Dania. She is. She's quick, and her strikes are right on target. Again, that and left hand's landing every time, John. Stacy's already caught under the right eye. Another left hand by Dania. She's going after that cut every time. Dania is a little bit longer than Stacy. Now she's got Stacy put up against the cage. Nice right hand by Dania. Oh, oh. she's. She is just touching her up right here against the cage. Oh, she's unloading on Stacy. Stacy tries to clinch up to slow down the striking of Dadia, but to no avail. Those are really nice long punches. Oh, great. She, I mean, she's keeping her at her distance. There's no way Stacy can even get in. And, and Stacy's punches are coming off a little bit more like a TIE fighter's punch through the elbow out, and they're slightly rounded, whereas Dadia is coming straight down the middle like a boxer, and therefore the punch, you saw it right there with the right hand by Stacy. Therefore, the punches are a little bit longer and reach their target a little bit more accurately. And look at Dadia moving away to her left and punching while she moves, a one-two. A left hand every time she moves to the left. We talk about punches and bunches, and these these are, she's definitely throwing them out there, but she's landed almost every single one of them. Stacy looking for a single leg. Dottie is not having nice it. Nice knee. Ties up, knee to the body. Nice knee to the body for Stacy there, too. Dottie has got her pushed up against the cage here, and let's see if the power of Stacy Scapeccia can get her off the cage here. If she's throwing knees here, but they don't seem to be landing in the midsection of Dottie right now. Stacy's holding on there. And Dadia breaks and punches. Oh, she looks like a 10-year veteran in there. Stacy's lumped up something fierce right now. That right eye is going to swell up on her. Nice left hand. A 1-2 again by Dadia. And look, you can tell, Eric, it's the difference in the tie style punching versus the, the boxing style punching. Oh. And Steve Mays has these kids down at Lozon throwing nice, straight, long punches. Stacy trying to tie Dottie up now, maybe looking to take her to the ground here. We don't know much about the ground game of either of these two girls, but you know that Dottie is going to be tough coming out of Lozon. <laughs> John, I mean, I've been in a lot of these fights. I've seen a lot of these amateur fighters, and, and, you know, a lot of times they come out and they look a little antsy. Uh, they look a little, you know, you know, like they're not ready to go sometimes. The, the, she looks, they both look like, you know, grizzled old vets. Dottie looks so comfortable in there, it's unbelievable. Drops to these two ladies coming out here and putting on a great show so nice far. Nice headlock by Dadia. Nice headlock by Dadia, but she's got to be careful now. This isn't judo wrestling, and she moves back into guard. She did not have the underhook there. Stacy, Stacy potentially had a chance to take the back there with Dadia. these two fighters. Going after that eye, this fight's not going to go all three rounds. And Dadia looks fresh as a daisy, and you know she's been landing that left hand on the right eye of Stacy, and Stacy's giving it all she's got. You know, take nothing away from her performance. No. She's definitely giving it all she's got here. And I, I don't think that this is a, an issue of, of age or skill. I think this is an issue of style. And this is a, a more mobile, boxing-based stand-up attack versus a more stand-in-front-of-you uh, Muay Thai-based attack. I'd agree. Stacey's Stace not backing off here. No, she's she, not landing leg kicks. Nice teep right there. She's not. The hands weren't working out for her, so her corner had her working, told her to start working the kicks in round two, and she is. The way to take away the mobility of a boxing-based fighter is to attack the legs. And you can tell Stacy's been touching that eye a couple times. So you know she's, you know, it's, it's starting to bother her a little bit. Nice left hook. Oh, oh couple nice left upper hands, uh, uppercuts by, uh, by Daria. Little shovel punches by Daria right onto that swollen up eye. Stacy looking for the tie plum now. What Stacy needs to do is turn her and get her on the cage like she's trying to do right here. Stacy needs her back off the cage. Nice body shot by Dottie. Nice uppercut by Stacy. A couple nice uppercuts. Another one, another one, another one. Here comes Stacy with the Connecticut crowd back in. Yeah. And these ladies are not getting tired. You're talking about two ladies their first time inside the reality fighting cage. They're, they're throwing tired. a lot of punches. Yeah. And, for, you know, that is very, very tiring. It definitely taxes your cardio. I'm exhausted just watching. Nice right hand over the top by Dadia. 
this make this spicy. She's not backing off. No, she's not. And Dadia looks like she may be dropping her hands a little bit, potentially due to a little bit of uh, fatigue. Now Dadia's got Stacy back up against the cage. I'd like to see what could happen here if Stacy could get this fight to the ground because I'd like to see uh, Stacy is a Danilo Sherman, uh, Nobu Inyao Jiu Jitsu practitioner. And I'd like to see that up against uh, some of the lows on MMA grappling. That should be entertaining. But right now, these ladies are content to stay on their feet. Dottie has got her against Cage. And now Stacy reverses position. Nice knees to the nice inner thigh. Yeah, right to her thighs. What a nice knee. That's the midsection. Stacey's really got to start working the head of Dottie here, trying to make some space. She's got to push that head away from the body, try and get off the cage here. Big Dan's bringing it back to the middle. How do you feel about that? I always disagree with that break. That both fighters were working there. I disagree with that all the time. They weren't hugging. They weren't doing nothing. They were jockeying for position. I disagree with those breaks. Nice leg kick by Dottie. A one-two by, by Dottie again. Ten seconds to go. Oh, this. They're gonna have to check that right eye of Stacy in between the rounds here. I don't know if the doctor is gonna let that go. Oh, She's going gonna have to a serious three. problem seeing out. It's gonna be a wrap. That's it. That's it. A big round of applause for both of these game fighters. It's disappointing, John, because the, you know Stacy was laying it all on the line there. The crowds, the crowd, the crowd's giving him a hard time here. But the reality of the situation here is that the right eye is totally swollen shut. If Dadia continued to land those left hands without Stacy being able to see them coming, I mean that's that's a that's a case for more injury coming to that eye, t potentially breaking the orbital. I mean you don't want to take that kind of punishment here. And the doctor did a really good job here stopping that fight. Test. You know he went to medical school, I didn't. I probably could have, but he's the one stopping the fight, not me. And here's the replay. Nice leg kick countered by a one-two, one-two, one-two. Wow. I mean, straight down the middle. Yeah, I, I'm impressed with uh, Dadia Hamilton. 19 years old, another young gun. Tremendous work by the guys down at Lozon. All of a sudden, they've got a ton of fighters on big shows. By referee stoppage. At the end of the second round, Dadia 